second sub point, she says a third sub point, and then she does this. She says, so when you are in a tough situation, are you going to, or are you going to? God answers. All right. So there's a lot of sentences in there, but everybody doesn't have to say all the sentences. Everybody's a, assigned to a part. It's a story that comes at the end of the lesson about a fictional character. Because kids think, to, think in cartoons and they like little drawings and illustrations. So we always have a cartoon character at the end and we tell a story about somebody who got into a tight situation and they needed to. So of course one of the characters are going to. And one is going to do the other thing, the complain thing, right? Number one for the story is this. You always, always, always outline your thoughts for the story first. This is why. Because you get the lesson, you get the piece of paper in your hand, and you cannot remember this word for word. It's just impossible. And even if you memorize it word for word, it often doesn't have any power until it becomes yours. So you take this guide, you outline your thoughts, and you get your own word. And after you do that, then you're going to decide where are you going to preach. How many subpoints do we have? Now, we got to get those subpoints in. So I'm going to tell you a little shortcut, right? We got three subpoints. Which one of those subpoints is the strongest? Where you can say, if I had that mic for that subpoint, I'll let it rip, man. I can preach that. That's going to be, listen, your main preaching, where you're going to spend about a minute, one minute, preaching. When you get to the other points, the other two points where you decide you're going to preach, you're going to make that shorter and you're just going to use keywords and key phrases. You're still going to preach the keywords and the key phrase. You're not going to just say them, but you're going to say, um, say mine is powerful weapon, right? So when I get to the, put, to the point where I want to preach, um, God has given, it's when you pray, you're having a conversation with God. Listen to my preaching. When you pray. You are having a conversation with God. That means God speaks and you listen. You listen and God speaks. That's what he wants to do. He wants to have a conversation with you. He doesn't want it to be a one-way conversation. But this guy, he did not realize that prayer was a conversation. So he told God what he wanted and he went into battle to fight. So you see how I kept it strong, but I didn't go into examples and all of that? You're going to do that one time. The preaching with the examples, and you're going to just let the fire roll out, and you have one minute. But for the rest of the part, you keep it short, and you emphasize key words and key phrases. So today, what are you going to do? Each time you're in a situation, are you going to complain? Or are you going to pray? Today, I want each and every single one of you here to make a decision. So I want everyone to bow your heads, everyone to close your eyes. And today, if you decide that each time a situation comes along that makes you unhappy, sad, angry, each time that situation comes along, that you're not going to complain, you're not going to fight, you're not going to worry, but you are going to pray. If you want to make that decision to pray in every situation today, then I want you to put up your hands in the air. And I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear God, today I make the decision to pray each time I am in a situation that makes me unhappy, sad. Lord, help me not to complain. Thank you, God, that when I pray, you answer me. In Jesus' name, everybody says, 
Amen. Amen.